bless you and your family. Why do in tashahhud we say uh, assalamu alayka? Doesn't ka refer to someone whom you are talking to? Does that mean Prophet? Uh, what? I can't understand the question. Type clear. Oh, does it mean the Prophet can see us? Clear. Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Barakallahu feek. Jazakallahu khayran. With regards to saying assalamu alayka ayyuhal nabiyu in the tashahhud versus assalamu ala nabi and the people of knowledge themselves they have two main views the first view is that the tashahhud should remain just as the prophet sallallahu taught the sahaba when he was alive and that was to say assalamu alayka o prophet and there are other sahaba who say whether it's abdullah ibn mas'ud or others who have the view that after the prophet sallallahu death one should say assalamu ala nabi because he was no longer addressing the prophet alayhi both of these different views have their proofs and their ways of looking at it. Umar ibn al-Khattab anhu is quoted to have taught this to shahu to the Sahaba on the minbar after the death of the Prophet sallam, on the minbar. So it's not something which the Sahaba agreed upon to change it and to fix it. Let alone the fact that as Shaykh Nur Thaymeen mentioned is that when the people make the tashahud in the time of the Prophet sallam, they were in places when the Prophet wasn't there. And the Prophet sallam, didn't have supernatural hearing nor did he have supernatural sight. So they say that the shahud should stay just like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught them. It doesn't mean that the Prophet can see the people. No one ever said that. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that, فَإِنِّي أَرَاكُمْ مِنْ وَرَاءِ ظَهْرِي In the salah, I can see you from behind. It doesn't mention anything about the shahud and calling out to him. Now, the last thing I'm going to say in this brief answer is that perhaps this is from the problems that are brought up by people who wish to worship graves and call upon saints, and call upon dead ancestors. And they say that the Wahhabis, you do the same thing. Because in your prayer you say, Assalamu alaikum ayyuhal nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're calling out to the Prophet, who isn't alive according to your Wahhabi creed. So why isn't it shirk? Why isn't it istighatha bil amwat wal ghaibin? So there's no problem not saying, Ya fulan, al jilani, this one, what's the problem? So this problem is brought up. Before we even get into the specifics of the tajahud, the Prophet taught them the tajahud, the Prophet, innaka mayyutun wa innuhu mayyutun, Allah said that you would die and they would die. Before we get into all of that, do you think it's a similarity or is it the same as the same thing in your tajahud and saying, oh, Sheikh Fulan who's in Africa or India or another country and you're in the UK or Australia, help me, al-madad al-madad, al-najda al-najda for help and support and victory, cure my mother, help my wife who's sick and dying. Is there anyone with an intellect who tries to make a qiyas with these two contrast issues for argument's sake? In the, in the salah, As-salamu alayka ayyuhu al-nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That's it. O Prophet, aghithni, irghfidli, irhamni, mali wa lak. O Prophet, no, no, say none of that. Just As-salamu alayka ayyuhu al-nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That's it. And then calling on a sheikh who's been in his grave and saying he will send down the rain, he will give us victory in our battle against the kuffar. Is any aqil, any intellectual would ever try to make the comparison between these two? For argument's sake, that doesn't even need that to the Prophet Wasallam. Alright? So that's totally false. What's important is, the last thing I'll say is, one of the worst things that has befallen the people of Hadith is listening to the doubts of the people of Batil. Listening to what they have to say, entertaining the doubts, and then searching and looking for a way to refute them. There's no need to even listen to them. Argue with them or debate with them. Leave them. They don't want to listen. They don't care. They want to stay upon what they're upon. Someone who sincerely wants to know or who's confused, different story. But fighting, having munazara, arguing, debating, hollering, screaming, picking up books, there's no fight in that. This person's trying to prove what he's upon, he's trying to prove what he's upon, and that's it. Wallahu alam.